guys, I hope you're all well. This is a really quick video to show you how to cook a frozen pizza without using an oven. Now this is a tried and tested method that I've used myself in the past many times. This came about from when I was a student in France and I was staying in a studio apartment which didn't have an oven. Um, and I had a frozen pizza that I wanted to cook. And this method cooks it perfectly every single time. The cheese and any toppings on the top are cooked perfectly and the meat is cooked through. And the bottom is really nice and crispy, which is just how I like it. So hang around and keep watching and I'll show you how this is done. All right, so I've got my pizza here, fully frozen. Um, it's just a plain four cheese pizza. And the first step is to put it onto a plate that's big enough for your pizza. And then the first step is to put this into the microwave. Yes, you heard that right. So I'm gonna put that whole pizza into the microwave. I'm gonna put it on for a minute and a half at full heat until the topping starts to melt. Okay, so the pizza's been in there for a minute and a half now. And you'll see that the top is nice and soft and it's starting to melt a little bit. And now the next step is to put this onto a hot pan with no oil. So this is the pan that's big enough for my pizza and I'm going to put the pizza directly into this pan. Okay, so my pizza is now in my dry frying pan. This is actually just big enough for this pizza and it's on a medium to low heat and you wanna keep it on here for about two minutes. And what this is gonna do is gonna make sure that the bottom is cooked and that it's gonna be nice and crispy. Okay, so my pizza has been on the pan for two minutes now and the bottom is already starting to get really nice and crispy. So now what I'm gonna do is just repeat this one more time. So I'm gonna take this whole pizza, put it back on the plate and I'm gonna put this back in the oven for one and a half to maybe two minutes and this time just make sure that the top is starting to bubble, the cheese is browning. Okay, so that's the microwave done and you can see that the cheese has melted really, really nicely. It's fully melted and it was bubbling in the microwave which is perfect. And now the final bit is to put it back in the pan for one last time for about another minute until the bottom is fully crispy and you will see how good this comes out. So as soon as it's done, just have a little check. Um, scrape the bottom with a knife and if it makes like a rough noise, you know that it's cooked through. And that's pretty much it. Of course, feel free to adjust the timings to yourself, to your own microwave and to your own gas hob. Put it on a little bit longer if you need to, you think, or a little bit less time if it needs to be a little bit quicker. But this is it guys, that took what, maximum of five minutes and I've got a perfectly cooked pizza now. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that and that you found it useful a little bit. Um, again, I don't recommend you doing this every single time you need to cook a pizza, but as and when you need to or you have to, it comes in really, really useful. Just follow this method and obviously make any adjustments to the timings depending on whatever you're using. But yeah, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.